This video is about um, division of fractions when both numbers are not fractions. Okay, so the first example, let's do just a regular one first and we'll go back to that one. The first example is just two fractions. How do we divide? We use keep, change, flip. So we keep our first fraction the same. We change division to multiplication, and we flip the second fraction. So the numerator goes to the denominator, and the denominator goes to the numerator. So 11 over 10. And then we multiply across. 1 times 11 is 11. 2 times 10 is 20. 11 over 20. There is not a way that I can simplify this at all, so that is my final answer. You could also use the giant one method, if this one makes more sense to you. I'll use a different color. Um, you can do one half and put it over 10 over 11. We make our giant one. Okay, so how could we make, our goal is to make this number on the bottom. Um, in our product, our denominator should be 1, so we want to multiply this fraction by a number so that we get the same number on top as we do on the bottom. So we're going to take the reciprocal, or our flip, which is 11 over 10. So we have 10 times 11 is 110. 10, 11 times 10 is also 110, so that really does equal 1. So since we have 11 tenths on the bottom, we also want to put it on top, which should be 11 over 20. 11 over 20 over 1 is really just 11 twentieths. Alright, so there's our just regular example of dividing fractions. Now we're going to go back to this one. So we have a decimal and a fraction together, so you have a couple different options, but the easiest way is going to be to convert this decimal into a fraction. So I'm going to make this into a fraction by looking at this 6. What place value is the 6 in? Well, I know it's in the tenths, and I have six of them, so I can write this as six over ten, or six tenths. So this problem becomes six tenths divided by three eighths. And now I can do my keep change flip. So I have six tenths, I'm keeping that the same. I'm changing division to multiplication and then I'm flipping my second fraction so that it becomes 8 thirds. Now I can just multiply across. 6 times 8 is 48. 10 times 3 is 30. Now I have an improper fraction because my top number is bigger than the bottom, so I'm going to figure out how many times does 30 go into 48 and that goes in once, and I'm going to take that 30 away, and I get 18 over 30. And I know right away that I can simplify because they're both even, so I know they're both divisible by 2. But I'm also looking, and I know 18 and 30 are also both divisible by 3. So I'm going to keep my 1 the same and I'm going to divide by 3 to both the top and the bottom. Okay, so that might be something that you see. You might also notice that they're divisible by 6, so actually let's do that, because that's going to be less work for us in the end. So I'm going to divide by 6 instead. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 
So I end up with an answer of 1 and 3 fifths. Again, you could do that same method with, um, so giant 1, or you could divide decimals, and you could change 3 eighths into a decimal, but that's going to take a lot more work because if you do 3 eighths, you're going to have to divide to get your decimal first, so do 3 divided by 8. which is not going to be quite as much fun. A lot more steps for you because once you get this decimal, you're also going to need to divide those decimals. So you can do it if you wish, but dividing with fractions is going to be a little bit easier and less messy for you. Alright, in our last example, we have a fraction divided by a mixed number. So, we can't use keep, change, flip unless they are both fractions or improper fractions. We can't do mixed numbers. So we are going to do 7 over 8. And then what I always do is say I need to multiply and then add. So 5 times 1 is going to be 5. And then I need to do 5 plus 4 to get 9 for my numerator, and then I'm going to keep my denominator the same. So I have 7 eighths divided by 9 fifths. Then I can keep change flip. So keep 7 eighths the same. Multiply is my change, and then I am changing my second fraction to 5 ninths. Alright, so then I have... 7 times 5, which is 35. And I have 8 times 9, which is 72. Now, I need to figure out if there is a number that goes into both 35 and 72. Five doesn't work. 2 doesn't work, they're both, or 1 is odd, 1 is even. So I think that this is as simplified as it can get. So that would be my final answer. Alright, good luck.